Hi, Sophie King John, back again with yet another attempt of a craft beer review. The one I've got to review just now is one from my home city, one from Dragon Eight Brewery, and it is Dark Skies. Five percent on the Richter scale for the Dark Skies. This is one I picked up in my local Aldi's of all strange places. Didn't expect to see a Dark Skies in there, but I did. Never seen this beer before, and to be honest with you, never heard of it either, to be honest with you. So you know, let's get it into the glass and see what it's all about. Dark Skies. So here's a pour. Here we have it in the glass. Nice and dark. What it says on the tin. And it's got a nice sort of beigey compact head, nice and fluffy actually, almost like, yeah, there's a bit of Aero Burrow, Aero Burrow, Aero Bubble sort of happenings in the head, so anyway, 5% stout, let's go in here for the nose and see what it's all about, hmm. actually before we go any further, it actually says on the can, an American stout, Brewed in Glasgow. Let's go in for the nose. Definitely something happened <laughs> in the air. It doesn't smell like your normal uh, stout. Coffee, chocolate, your roasted malts. Coming up. It's going to sound ridiculous now, but... There is other happenings in there, and I hope I'm going to pick them up in the taste. So anyway, Sophie King drunk drinking a Dark Skies by uh, Drygate Brewery, Glasgow. Slangeva, five in a rector scale, Slangeva. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I've got the nose of a stout, yeah, a stout, I've got the coffee, I've got chocolate, I've got roasted malts, and as soon as I put it in my mouth, I've got, I've got floral hop, yeah, I've got floral hop, I've got a hint of pine, almost, almost like a, the start of a, Someone has just got a stout and an IPA and mixed them together and made the stout a top heavy. That is unbelievable. I'm going in again. Yep. Pine. Pine's there. All your stout flavours are there. Very floral hop, a hit of pine. <laughs> I can't get away with this. I've never tasted any of this in my life. And it works. It really does work. It's 5%. And this works. It really does. In the back end, it's got a lovely... Long, bitter coffee finish with a pain. Just rest, just cascading through it. Oh, that is that's a mind fuck. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Dry Gate Brewery, dark skies, five minute to scale. I picked this up in my local Aldi's, one forty nine a can. I'd never ever seen it before and man that is that is unbelievably a, a bit of a, a teaser for the brain this one if you like your stouts but you like your your piney beers 
I don't know. I'm a, I'm a big a big stout fan. That's why I picked it up because it is a stout. It's classing itself as a stout, five percent stout. That's why I picked it up to review it. That's uh, a bit of a. I'm going to say it's a mind fuck. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's what it is. It's it's unbelievable. But it works. It absolutely works. You've got the pine. You've got the the stout flavours, the roasted barley, the chocolate, the coffee, and then you've got suddenly you've got the the hint of, oh man, you, you've got the hint of pine, you've got the hint of the floral hop. It's it's absolutely what a buzz, what an absolute buzz. I've never tasted anything like this in my life. To be honest with you, I'd love to uh, every so often I go up to dry gate. I'd love to see that on the uh, tap because I would love to try a pint of it and see what it like it is on tap. So anyway, is it one I'm going to drink again? Yes, it is, man, because it's unbelievable. It's a bit of a wacky beer and they have pulled this off really, really well. So anyway, what am I going to give? Uh, dry gate Brewery uh, Dark Skies. I'm going to give that a Sophie drunk rating of... I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. So anyway, it's an 8.5 out of 10 for the Dats guys from Drygate Brewery by Sophie King Drunk. So anyway, if you've had this beer before, you liked it. You didn't like it. Well, see if you didn't like it, you must be a lager drinker. Drop a line below and if not, thanks for staying along to the end of the video. Sophie King Drunk salutes you for that and hopefully catch you in another craft beer review. Oh man! Can't wait to go and finish this off. Slangy Van, keep drinking the good craft beer. Ciao for now.